What's up guys, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to be abusing OP8 Pyro Pete using a Sniper Zero build. I wanted to kill Pyro Pete five times in a row using Critical Ascension, so I stacked Critical Ascension on a Bruiser up in the bar beforehand, and now I'm going to go ahead and summon Pyro Pete for the first time, get some kunai on him, and some slag, and then knock off his face shield with a Trespasser, allowing me to hit his critical spot with this Lyuda. Now that I am able to do that, I'm going to go ahead and knock down his shield, which forces him into a Nova mode where he holds his head really, really still for you. And it's great for getting more critical hits. So now that I killed him for the first time, I'm going to go ahead and kill myself so that I'm actually able to spawn him again. We'll go ahead and speed these little sections up because I'm just walking back to Pete here. It's not too interesting. Alright, so now I'm going to be going for the second time spawning Pete. You see the first Pete there on the ground. Again, same strategy. I'm just going to knock his head, uh, his little face shield off on his head with the Trespasser. And then I'm going to blow his brains out with the Lyuda. So I switch to that. When he runs at you with his arms down like that, it makes it pretty easy. Uh, if you're trying to get him to run at you with his arms down, try to create space uh, from you and him when you trespass his face mask off. It won't always work, but sometimes it will work for you and he'll just run at you arms down like that, and that will make for a real easy kill. Now, at overpower levels, you will not be able to knock his face shield off in one trespasser shot unless you have critical ascension. With no critical ascension and the B, I think it still takes about three shots. So critical ascension makes a huge difference. As you can see, I knock it off one time every time. So that's that's pretty cool. Again, just gonna like I said, I had enough distance there, but he he came at me, arms moving on that one, so that made this one take a little bit more time. But once you get him into the Nova mode, which he'll enter every time you knock off his uh, shield, you're gonna be able to get about you know almost an entire magazine of ammo straight into his face and that's usually enough to kill him. So now we're going for the fourth kill now. We've completed three. All the dudes up in the bar have respawned at this point. You might be able to hear them in the background. So now I'm going to go ahead and summon Pete for a fourth time. I wonder how many times I could actually do this. After uh, the fifth time, I realized that uh, some of my stacks were approaching their lifetime timer, but the rest of them, uh, I'm getting enough from Pete to maintain my stack count at a pretty healthy number. And because of that, you know, you could keep going further than five, but five was my goal, and so that was the fourth one there. I wonder if you could keep this cycle going indefinitely. With perfect play, I assume it's possible. I had four really smooth kills up until then. Um, my fifth kill doesn't go quite as smoothly. We'll get to that now. But as you can see, I still enter this fight with over 150 stacks. So you could probably keep going and keep entering the fight with around, you know, uh, 10 stacks less than you had each time before. And that would allow you to keep going for maybe up to like 10 kills or something. I don't know. But this is the fifth one. This was my goal. Get a little bit of weird peep behavior on this one. Miss some shots. That's the main thing that goes wrong here is that I just miss quite a few shots. Alright, so now we're got him to the Nova mode. I try to get Kunai on him and reload and throw a grenade and I waste some time there. And then I miss a, the first few shots and he actually gets out of Nova mode for the first time. And that's not very good for me. Uh, luckily I was able to kill him though before the damage over time ate away my shield and killed me. So that worked out really well for me. And there we go, I killed Pete five times. If you guys haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. I'd really appreciate that, guys. Otherwise, I do thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that quite a bit. I'll be sure to show you guys my gear and skill build here in a second. After I look over the loot pile. No, I go ahead and do it now. Obviously, I was using a Lyuda and a Trespasser and the rest of this gear here. Chaotic Neutral Rogue Calm. For the Critical Ascension, there was a look at my skill build. Badass ranks off, obviously and I was using the blockade as a shield. Unfortunately, I did not get any orange weapons from these five kills that I happened to see. Um, I hope there's not one hidden in here that I missed that's apparent on the video. That would make me look kind of stupid. Anyway, guys, once again, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate that, guys, and I hope to catch you next time.
Bye, guys. I do some fooling around here, you know, desecrating Pete's corpse and all, but it's not, it's not too important. <laughs> Bye, guys. Maybe I'll use you to blow a midget's head off.